Hello and welcome back everyone to a new episode of EU4 here with me, Sneaky Bart, as we're being serenaded by a Swedish ballad. I'm playing as Audible here, going primarily for the Shan Shah achievement of forming Persia with them, and then probably trying to go for This is Persia after that, where we need to own Egypt, Anatolia, and Greece. We are in Karakunlis far, where we have been promised territory against Ajam, so I hope to get some of this. I'm also, as you noticed, looking here and seeing, ah, oh, we can get a royal marriage with Transoxania. So let's do that. And move you out. Then what I'm probably also going to do is, I'm going to annul the alliance with Gilan and hope they don't manage to get any other allies. So that then I can get this province as well from them and with an eye of basically taking Mazandaran as a vassal for myself or something to that regard, but we will have to see. We are also allied with Fars, which I'm very happy about. Our situation looks much, much better. Our main concern here right now are these religious zealots, which keep um, blocking us from doing anything useful in terms of um, besieging provinces and what have you. So here we go. We can get that for ourselves. Oh dear. Are they moving in here? Yes, they are. So we want to move back here. Before that army decides to catch up with us. They are free to retake any of these provinces if they wish to do so. But for now, I... I'm more worried about actually keeping my my own troops alive. Transoxania didn't really go anywhere in terms of if they want uh, more uh, or an alliance with us or not, which is a shame. But such things happen sometimes. Okay, let's see what these these armies do. Where are the Karakuyun? Okay, they are there. Okay. And the Shia Zealots have decided to move in that direction. Let's go back here. Wait, no, you are just going to besiege that province apparently. There we go. Alright. Where are... Okay, you're moving that way, which means we have free reign here to do things as we please, which I do like. There we go. We are very close, once again, to getting our horsey, which I would love to have. We almost got it before, but then what ended up happening was we had to reinforce because we lost troops to the Shia Zealots. Which I'm not sure I know where they exactly... Okay. Okay. Ajam did a white piece with Mushasha. Okay. And... Hmm. No guy is apparently as well in involved in this conflict. That is not something we appreciate very much. I'm just retreating to the safety of my own borders as these Shia Zealot police here comes back. We can finally take up a military tech, which is great. We also need to remember to put on the timer. Alright, let's get ourselves a horsey soon, next month. There we go. Nice horse. Alright, Shia Zealots over there. Q Leo, where are they going? Are they going? Oh no 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 no! We are not okay with this. I mean, we are in mountains and whatnot, but we are still not okay with this. Whew. Let's let's just move here. They can deal with the vassal there on their own. I was thinking we were about to lose lots and lots of men again, but no. And this war isn't going too well, apparently. Mainly because of these Shia Zealots. They apparently are very efficient at policing this entire thing. 
So what I'm looking at is seeing... Okay, well, they're going to get their war goal, which is giving us war score back. And they're soon going to get the capital as well, which is fine. I just really want to get rid of these stupid uh, zealots. And I hope that Karak Yunli will make moves to to get rid of them too. Okay, we have their capital, which is always good. Now, where are you going? Okay, there's a big fight there, which it looks like we are losing. Ooh, we might be winning it. Did Yes, we won it. Nice. Awesome. So we are getting here, and then let's just go here to discourage the zealots of actually moving against us. You can always lose this one guy here, I'm not too, too worried about that. We don't want to move towards legalism, we want more mysticism, even though it gives more local autonomy in Rasht, which can barely get any more local autonomy to be honest. Here we go. We are doing just fine. What happens if we put you here? Does this provoke? Oh no, it provokes movement in the opposite direction, which we're completely fine with. Let's put you here and then get... God damn it. We'll see it Kiermansha. And they will only give us back our cause, which was, to be honest, our mission. So that was nice. Let's make this area into a core as well. And then the Amirs want more land, as they are want. So let's give them this. But that's not enough. Okay, let's give you this. And then you're getting super close to actually getting too much influence let's get some military power off of you for that what do we want more we want to remove gilan from the map definitely we also want we can't get any more um autonomy anywhere no not really and no more troops either Let's just sit here and we can just drill while we're at it. And we can just put you here to give us more claims, as it were. Alright. Our truce with you is running out at any moment. When is it running out? Well, not at any moment, but it will expire in three years. Let's just wait three years then. Oh, a stability drop. How lovely. Mazandaran? No, we don't want a royal marriage with you. What we do want is a royal marriage with Fars. Transoxania is not too happy about us. So let's put our imp diplomats to the task again. Why not? I wonder why not. Hmm. So why do you not want a royal marriage? We worked so hard to get it. But now you're like, no, we're, we're fine. We don't need it. Blah, 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 blah. Sure you do. Come on, I know you want us as an ally and everything. <sighs> Alright. What else can we do? I mean, I know you desperately want to be our ally, but we don't want you as an ally. We want to expand into you. Hmm. And... Can we... what's the situation here? We could make Gilan and Ajam our rivals. I doubt that that would 
change anything in terms of the your willingness to get a royal marriage with us to be honest or does this affect anything morale your legitimacy prestige no not really hmm am I willing to lose no I'm just going to go with the legitimacy and then doing this there we go all right how are our troops? Yes, we can get a new one more soldier. Don't tell me that this is about to happen now. You're at war with the Mamluks. Trebizond, Georgia. Wait, what? Ah, okay. So the Mamluks have decided to attack you. Lovely. Alright, let's just get our claims here. We can only get one claim, apparently. Okay, and you. We want to try and get on your good side here. Very unlikely that anything will come of it. But hey, what's the... Yeah, they have way too... Way more troops than we do, sadly. Ajam is no longer a valid rival. Sad times, sad times. And here I was about to try and attack Gilam, but how can I do that if I have to worry about the Mamluks at the same time? This was very bad timing on part of you guys. This might have been the time when I actually needed to betray Karaku Yunlu. And then uh, that would have given us the opportunity to br uh, build this bridge here. Uh, well, we will see. Hmm. Oh, now you want access. You're at war against Mazandaran and Sherban. Ugh. So, I can't let you... ...get all of this, so... Here. Yeah. All or nothing, basically. Like, what's happening here? Hmm... These mountains... These grasslands... Sherban, you're at war with them too. Alright. So, wait, you're at war with Khorasan and Transoxania. So we really need to... Need to try and do this. This very quickly here. Basically, we want Amol. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a general as well. You have a siege pip. Ask for military access, yes. these these armies going to go now ask for military access no ask for military access yes all right what's basically happening here then is yeah let's see we need to get more money Something like this So that we can get a mercenary going on here All right, and like this Here we go come on 
You're fine with having Sari. Come on. You're apparently just fine with besieging the entirety of my land as well. I'm just hoping that you're sort of deciding to uh, not be like to come and help me with the siege here, Corazon. No idea if you are. Uh, this is proving way too difficult for my liking. All right. What type of military advisors do we have? We have discipline. All right. More loans it is to get the discipline guy. Let's hope that that helps us somewhat. What are your stats? This is mountains. So you will be aiding. Basically. Oh, come on. Okay, we've lost everything. Yay! <laughs> Game over. Alright, after that um, rare defeat screen that we just saw, what I ended up doing was doing a reroll, basically, starting a new take on this, but instead of just showing you all these opening moves over and over again, we're going to start here, we're going back to year 4046. We just finished our war with um, Biapas, so we managed to get these two provinces. We are allied with Karakunlu. Um, I'm getting prepared to betray Gilan and just probably starting to uh, fabricate claims on Ajan. Even though they are very dangerously allied with Nogai, who are quite big, and Yas, who are quite small. So we will see how the any Karakunlu progress goes on that. When they actually declare the war, I might have to make sure I have some claims so that I could even manage to betray these guys if I so wished. They are allied with Sherbin though, which is annoying. Who is our ally? But yeah, that is basically how the start looks now. So we will forget about our failed take on Mazandaran there and just do as if nothing happened and move on from here. But as you can see, this is all still Iron Man and everything. I just skipped the uh, opening steps for you because you're probably as tired of them as I am. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, you've been awesome. My name's been SneakyBot. And if you do want to show your support for this Let's Play series, do give me a like and do subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.